the Duke and Duchess of Sussex faced another significant setback as they had already relinquished their royal roles, patronages, and privileges after stepping away from the monarchy in 2020. King Charles, who ascended to the throne in September 2023, made the decision to transfer their Sussex titles to his niece, Lady Louise Windsor, the daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, the Earl and Countess of Wessex. This momentous announcement, made by Buckingham Palace in February 2024, marked the official conclusion of Harry and Meghan's association with the royal family and the British public. The choice to award the Sussex titles to Lady Louise was not impulsive but rather the result of careful planning and consultation by King Charles, who had been contemplating the fate of the titles since becoming the sovereign. King Charles had several reasons for selecting Lady Louise as the new title holder, believing it would benefit both the monarchy and the country. Firstly, he wished to acknowledge Lady Louise's loyalty and dedication to the crown. Lady Louise, who celebrated her 21st birthday in November 2023, had exemplified the qualities of a model royal, carrying out her duties with grace and professionalism. She had also displayed a genuine interest in the causes and charities supported by her grandparents, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, inheriting their passion for equestrianism. Furthermore, Lady Louise had been a source of comfort and support for her parents during a time when they had taken on increased responsibilities following the passing of Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth. Secondly, King Charles aimed to restore the dignity and reputation of the Sussex titles, which had been tarnished by Harry and Meghan's actions and statements. He believed that their conduct had betrayed the trust and respect bestowed upon them by the royal family and the British people, with their titles being utilized for personal gain and political agendas. Lastly, King Charles sought to prevent further controversy and conflict surrounding the titles, which had been a source of tension between the royal family and the Sussexes. Recognizing Harry and Meghan's dissatisfaction with the agreement made in January 2020 when they stepped back as senior royals, King Charles wanted to avoid additional negotiations or disagreements. He wanted to make it unequivocally clear that they no longer held a place or role within the royal family or the United Kingdom. By transferring the Sussex titles to Lady Louise, King Charles aimed to achieve these objectives and send a resolute message to Harry, Meghan, and the world that, as king, he had the final say in all matters concerning the monarchy. Additionally, he wanted to express his support and appreciation for Lady Louise, whom he considered a valuable and promising member of the royal family, destined to represent the titles with honor and dignity. The response to the announcement of the title transfer varied. Some commended King Charles for his decisive and bold action, extending congratulations to Lady Louise for her new titles. Others criticized him, perceiving his decision as harsh and vindictive, and sympathized with Harry and Meghan for losing their titles. Harry and Meghan, residing in California with their two children, Archie and Lilibet, issued a brief statement through their spokesperson, expressing their respect for the king's decision and wishing Lady Louise the best. They also confirmed their intention to continue using their Sussex titles as their surnames, as they had been doing since leaving the UK. King Charles stated that these changes were made to reflect the new era of his reign and honor the legacy of his parents and predecessors. He hoped that these adjustments would strengthen the bond and unity of the royal family, enhance the service and representation of the monarchy to the nation and the commonwealth, and ultimately bring peace and harmony to the royal family and the country after a period of turmoil.